Hey, it's Bradley here, and I just want to give you a quick walkthrough of AdSpy. This is a tool I've been using over the last month or so, and I've actually found a couple of really awesome products that I've managed to scale pretty big off the back of using it. Now, we're all in business here, this isn't a hobby, and this will cost you 100 bucks a month, so it is a premium tool, but uh, it's all about ROI, right? So if you can get an ROI off using this, then it's well worth the investment. Now, uh, the reason I love it is it saves me a ton of time and um, it shows things in my uh, in the feed here, which I wouldn't normally get in my own news feed, okay? So I'm able to filter by age or gender, um, you know, otherwise I'd have to be creating a ton of other Facebook accounts, uh, dummy accounts to get start certain ads to show up in my news feed. But here I can aggregate it all into one place and do some really solid research, okay? So let me show you how I typically tend to use it. So first of all, I'm just going to select technology. So typically Shopify, sometimes WooCommerce. Uh, normally narrow down to the States initially, unless I'm looking for people that are scaling into other countries. Um, and also I want created between, all right? There's no point looking for stuff that's kind of already reached saturation point. You want uh, really recent stuff. All right, so you can see here it's updated uh, and it starts to show me some stuff um, that is pulled into its database. Now this is obviously is an, isn't an exhaustive um, list of all the ads that are running on Facebook, um, but it's gonna be pulling in a fair chunk of them. So, oh yeah, and what I need to do here is just go by, let's go by shares, okay? So you can do it by likes or shares. So you can see here that it's starting to pull in some stuff. So there's products here. Um, that looks like it might have some trademark violation issues on it, unless you're an approved reseller. Um, so we want to kind of get past that stuff. Keep going. So this looks like a pretty cool product. Um, what have we got here? 9,000 likes, 7,000 comments, 9,000 shares. So it's looking pretty solid. Um, you, you can definitely get that on AliExpress, I'm pretty sure. Okay, fishing tackle bag. Um, uh, what we got here, 4,000 likes, 1,200 comments, 3,000 shares. Um, so what you want to be doing is looking for products that are um, starting to gain momentum, okay? Now, uh, I always use a surfer analogy of, you know, the pro surfers are sitting out the back of where the wave's breaking and they're watching, right? They're sitting there looking at waves that are several back and seeing how they're start to, starting to swell. They're not trying to jump on a wave that's already kind of uh, starting to peak and break because if you try and catch that wave you're just going to get rinsed out and uh, you know even if you do manage to catch it you're not going to manage to catch it for long and it's exactly the same with product research yeah um, if you try and catch that wave that's already breaking um, you're just going to get rinsed out you want to be catching a wave that's at the point where um, the per perfect timing basically and that's what the pro surfers do and the pro Pro drop shippers do is that in, uh, you know for trending products they catch that wave and they want to ride it as long as possible. Okay, so you want to catch it at the perfect time. So researching for products that aren't um, you know already saturated is is way better than you know using some of these aggregation tools that just um, you know they're posting the same products. You could subscribe to about six or seven different products uh, research tools that aggregate products for you. And you're basically just jumping on the bandwagon with everyone else and um, you're going to be trying to ride a wave that's already breaking and, and uh, you're just going to end up wasting your ad spend. Okay. Now here's a product I actually bought this morning for my family because my wife sent me a link to it because it showed up in her news feed and uh, we live in Costa Rica and jungle and mosquitoes are a big problem. So this is perfect. Okay. So this, this wasn't the store I bought it from, I got it from someone else. So you know these aren't the only guys marketing it. But what we can do is we can paste their bit.ly link into here and um, check this out and see what sort of stats are doing. Okay, so they've had 172,000 clicks since uh, 22nd of June. It's 3rd of July right now. So what's that, like eight, uh, 11 days ago. So that's pretty impressive. They've managed to scale quite well. Yesterday they've done 20, nearly 22,000 clicks. So this product is getting some serious traction, right? Okay. Um, so this could be a good one to go after. And uh, I already bought, these are about a buck 50 on AliExpress when I looked for them this morning, all right? Um, you know, it's targeting females. If you look at the ad as well, they're, uh, I guess maybe they're using the same video as the, the store I bought it from, but let's just turn that down 
second. Um, you know, they're really leveraging that fear. This is exactly why my wife's um, uh, forwarded to me because uh, dengue fever is quite rife in, uh, across, in the park across the reef where we are. And um, yeah, it's a real concern. It's a nasty, nasty illness. So, so it's tapping straight into that fear um, of, of illnesses. And um, you know, it's a 100% natural product. Um, so yeah. It ticks all the boxes in that in that sense for us. So exactly why my wife ordered it to me to buy. So I mean, she didn't have a clue that you can get it on AliExpress. <laughs> she just buys stuff on impulse, not. Uh, but you know, uh, we know better, right? We're marketers. We know the true cost of stuff. So anyway, you can keep scrolling through, and um, you know, you're going to find find some stuff to go. If you're in the pod pod market, print on demand. You know, um, lots of other stuff showing up. Um, you know, I'm sure you can get that on AliExpress, that one there. Uh, fashion stuff comes up pretty um, dominantly, but you'll find that that's a tricky market because of the sizing issues and returns and all that kind of stuff. Um, this Tree of Colour one, let's have a look at this, see what this one's doing. We'll copy their bitly link. Let's have a look at the shares. So 6,000 likes, 723 comments, 1,400 shares. So what we can do is just replace that there. Have a look, see what's going on with this, see how much sort of, how many clicks they're getting. All right, so they've been running it, uh, yeah, so compared to that other one, they're getting like a fifth of the traction. Uh, 5,000 clicks on Tuesday though, and um, Wednesday is today, so 2,500 so far. So there is potential for them to be scaling this, yeah? You can see the bulk of their traffic's coming from Facebook as well. Okay, so this one's, this one's got legs, you know, it might have some potential, um, so it could be a good one to test. So you can just keep going, right, and uh, getting inspiration and uh, drilling into these stores, having a look at them. So let's go back to that Tree of Life one um, and have a look at the store itself. So I'm just going to get to the store and uh, see what's going on with them. So it looks like a Shopify store, so let's have a look at their Commerce Inspector. slow to load. I've got stuff uploading Dropbox I think. Um, Alright so first of all we want to go to products and have a look. So look, they're adding stuff all the time so um, let's just have a look. So they launched May 18th so they've only been around a month so it's not surprising that they're adding new stuff but you want to be looking for stores that are consistently uh, adding new products over a period of time doesn't look like this is loading properly. Let's have a look and see what their best sellers are. And you don't want to just go and copy their best sellers um, necessarily. You just want to go and get inspiration. Okay, let's have a look at similar web to see they're right. Okay, so no, they're not a big enough store for similar web to be tracking their uh, analytics. So, um, you know, they're not doing huge volumes. The other thing you can look at is. Um, the apps that they're using to see whether they're serious or not. So Clavio is a good example, a good uh, um, indication, and Trackify that these guys know what they're doing, and Hotjar. Okay, um, so might be one to keep an eye on. But um, yeah, as you can see, basically, you know, there's a ton of opportunity here. You can play around with the filters at the top as well. All right, because this is what I really like about this is. Um, you know, you can just uh, find female focused stuff because obviously us as guys um, aren't going to get targeted with this stuff necessarily um, and if you're not in the age bracket you're going to miss out on stuff as well so rather than having to have lots of different Facebook accounts targeting different demographics to really do your research you can just um, you can just filter here so that uh, you know you're getting shown ads that um, you would otherwise miss. Like, exactly like, like the example this morning, my wife sent me that mosquito patch thing. Um, I'd never seen it in my news feed and uh, you know, she's been targeted with it and uh, it's a great product idea. So um, yeah, uh, like I say, it's uh, really worth the investment. So check out the link below the video and uh, there'll be a coupon code there for you. 
And um, yeah, comment below with your, your success with AdSpy. All right, catch you soon.